love that color in your background. Oh, thank you. It's it actually was is it's not the right color, but but we like it. We thought it was going to be a little darker, but it works. It's beautiful. I'm thank sorry, you. Got sidetracked. <laughs> no, it's all good. I love it. Get sidetracked. Now, um, the series is full of so much mystery and crime. So, how much can you say about your character? <laughs> yeah, not a lot, sadly. Uh, I can say that my character is on a journey that she was not anticipating or uh, would probably avoided it at all costs. And doing that in her hometown and in the house she was brought up in with her nephew is going to cause some complications, clearly. And then throw in the fact that, you know, there's people missing and... Um, <laughs> Mickey and and Shira have a complicated relationship. It just it makes for the intrigue is at a very high level. That's for sure. Her character has her hands full. She had her life, then the drastic change. You know, loses her brother. Like she had to say to Mickey, like, it's not only did you lose your dad, but I also lost a brother. And you're here. You are taking on the responsibility of, you know, Mickey, the mom. Um, Seeking therapy online, going to that extent, <laughs> says a lot. Which is, by the way, worst decision ever. Why would you ever get therapy from your ex-husband? That felt like, that feels like a very complicated situation, too. <laughs> I actually laughed when she's like, why am I doing this with you? <laughs> you know, I know. It's funny, though. But again, it shows you a sense of character, right? There's a certain type of person that the first person they go to to try and talk things out with is their ex-husband. So, you know, I kind of liked it because it showed that she doesn't just write people off. Well, that's wrong. She actually does do that. Um, <laughs> um, but that their their relationship ended clearly on a good note if they are still friends and talking to each other and, uh, you know, being each other's therapist is pretty funny this is from a known writer the, the series adaptation did you decide to dig into the novels or did you just decide to create your own character well I read the script first I had not read the book and I read the script and the script was so great that it drove me to want to read the books uh so I read the first book shelter which is the first one of the three and I was hooked. And then I didn't want to read the other two because I actually wanted not to know what happened because I was so into the story. And my character is actually not in the books. I was a character that was created um, uh, pretty much because uh, Myron is in the books. And so instead of it being Myron, they made it an aunt and made it a woman, you know, because women are better. That's what I say. Um, so I wasn't spoiling anything in the books about my character because we took some characteristics uh, that are in the book uh, from Myron and gave them to me. But ultimately it was Harlan and I creating this character and her story and her struggles which is every actor's dream is to like have intel and input into that kind of stuff. So that was very exciting. I had a good feeling and you answered my question because as I was doing my research, I was like, how come it doesn't show anything about Shira? It only talks about Myron, but nothing about her. Yeah, because they made Myron into me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you hope viewers take away from the series that's full of so much mystery and crime of course you know I hope that people just have fun watching it I think it is such a thrill ride of so many different paths that you could go down and then choosing to go down this path get leads to this storyline and this reveal um and I think the kids uh you know Adrian Abby and Jaden are so fantastic and their characters are so wonderful together and seeing them come together and form this bond of that we're going to do this no matter what, and we're not going to accept no for an answer is so wonderful. I love like the, to me, the generation that is coming up is all about 
um, solutions and they are going to figure out ways to undo the mistakes that our ancestors have made, right? Or that maybe even we've made. And um, that is wonderful to be able to watch on a show that allows you to see how the adults are learning from the younger generation and how the younger generation is learning from the adults. And, and we've all made mistakes. Exactly. It's just, how do we like eradicate them? How do we make them better for everybody? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just, I just think it's a fun watch. I think it's fun to try and figure it out. And when you think you figured it out, it, you're, you don't. And that's, I love that stuff too. Well, thank you Constance for your time. It was lovely speaking with you. Of course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs>